If you just got a new battery, like a few days ago or even a few months ago, and it died prematurely, or perhaps it keeps dying. Every time you recharge it, it dies. Then we have a problem. But here is a way how we can fix that. Before trickle charging your battery, you're gonna take a reading, set your meter to volts DC, black to the negative terminal, red to the positive. A good brand battery tells you how long should you keep it hooked to the charger. This one says standard at 0.5 amps for 5 to 10 hours or quick at 5 amps for half an hour. So take a look at your battery as well as your charger to see how long it should take to fully charge. So once your battery has been fully charged, leave it sitting on a bench for 8 to 10 hours. And once you come back, you're gonna take your reading, but the idea is to keep it not connected to the harness in case there is a parasitic draw. This is gonna help us identify that so you should be getting between 12.6 volts to 13.6 in 14 volts depending on the type of battery you have for you to consider it a good battery if you if you are getting a reading below 12.6 it means your battery is not in good shape it's lost its capacity and you should replace it but even if you are getting a nice reading anything above 12.6 it doesn't necessarily mean you have a good battery because some bad batteries can seem good until you put a load on them until you load tested those batteries that voltage drops dramatically so that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna load test our batteries you don't have to get a new load tester to do this we can use our good old multimeter and I'm gonna show you a way to get that done, at least something pretty similar. So let's see how our batteries hold up when we put some load on them. Put the battery back in the motorcycle, hook everything up. These guys come in super handy. Again, volts DC. So we're gonna turn the key on, turn on your high beam. If you have Christmas lights on your bike, turn them on. So if it is a deteriorated battery, it'll barely hold a decent charge. It'll have a huge drop as soon as you turn that key on. And be patient, wait at least for a minute and see what charge does it hold. Now we're gonna push the starter button for a few seconds, but first make sure you disconnect your spark plug because we don't wanna start the engine. It shouldn't drop below nine volts. Do this test for five or six seconds don't abuse your battery. If you keep pushing that button long enough, you will end up draining your battery, no doubt. All right, so if your battery checks out, you don't need to replace it. It is still good. It's still in good shape. But now that we know that the battery is not the problem, we have two possible causes. A, the bike is not charging that battery meaning there is a problem with the bike's charging system and we'll test for that now or v there is something that is draining the battery while it's hooked up to the bike what's called a parasitic draw or a parasitic drain that's why i asked you to keep the battery not connected and see if it was holding its charge to help us identify for that later on but first let's make sure that battery is being properly charged. This is my go-to test when checking for charging issues. Before I check the state or output or resistance values, I do this simple test. 
So if we pass this one, then we're almost certain both that stator and regulator rectifier are good. Now I'm gonna rev up this thing to around 5000 RPM. So different bikes will throw different numbers but in general it should be between 13 volts to 14.6 maybe even 15 volts for some motorcycles but not over 15 and not under 13. Check your manual for your exact number or look it up on Google. Once you rev up your engine you must see that voltage rise. If it's not rising or yet worse, voltage starts dropping, then we have a charging issue. Okay, so if you find out that you have a charging problem, then check the connectors, make sure they're not loose, check all the wiring involved in the charging and see if it is okay, if it's not broken, then you'll have to check out the output coming from the stator and also check resistance values. I'll leave a video here for you that shows how to test a stator and only then after you've done all of the above you can think of changing the regulator rectifier but it, right from the start you see that the voltage rises over 15 volts then the battery is being overcharged and chances are the regulator rectifier is the problem but it's always good to test the stator and make sure everything is in order so even if you find out that the battery is being overcharged, it's okay to test the stator. Now we are left with one culprit. If the battery is okay and charging system is okay, but battery keeps dying overnight, then you have a parasitic draw. And there are a number of things that we we'll have to look at. It could be a short circuit, maybe a damaged wire that is touching the frame, a bad connector could also cause a current to draw. It could be an accessory, a GPS, an alarm, some fog lights, something that was not properly installed, or even if it was rightly installed, some devices just keep drawing current, even when they are off. So I'll show you how to test for that in the following video. Make sure you subscribe and guys, Thanks for all your support. Thanks for staying till this point of the video. I really appreciate that. And I hope this helps. This points you in the right direction. And if you think there is something that we're missing, please leave it in the comments.